Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. It is Connor here. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Happy hump day. I am here today to talk about eight new fragrances from Kringle Candle, and these are specifically in the Country Candle line. So um, a few weeks ago, it was like about a month ago, Kringle and Country released the Country line for their holiday. They had already done the Kringle Soy Holiday 2022 line a few weeks before they released the Paraffin one, which is the Country line. And so they released them, and I know I'm a little late, but I finally got my hands on some of them um, when I went to the Kringle Candle store in Massachusetts this past weekend. So I've got all eight sitting right here in front of me. We're going to talk about them today. We're going to talk about my first impression sniffs of these. Um, I've already smelled them, but I'm just going to talk about the scents. We're going to talk about the notes, the descriptions, and just talk about which ones I like and, um, you know, just talk about these scents. So again, I know I'm a little late, but um, please excuse that because... I'm here to talk about them with you. I will say I only have two of them in the actual like jar. So um, the rest of them are in the daylights. I did that because um, I honestly have so many Christmas and holiday candles right now that I really don't have time to like get eight more. So um, I'm trying to burn through what I have and then I can purchase new stuff and like actually get candles. But I will tell you, these little daylights right here, they do perform really well um, and they definitely give you throw. So I'm still going to be able to review all of them. It's just I only picked out two for the large jars because those ones were my favorites. But uh, anyways, let's get right into the video. Starting off with Candy Cane Cashmere. So, um... Oh yeah, and before I said this, um, I am a Kringle Candle ambassador, so you can use my code Connor Loves Candles to get 15% off of your order at checkout. Kringle is releasing a lot lately. I think every weekend they've been doing like launches. They did their Mercury jars. They have their returning favorites coming Friday, and then I believe that next weekend there is another launch, which I think is like the 18th maybe, and it's going to be like some new three wick candles for holiday. It's like they're returning classics that they always come out with, but they're in the new 100% soy um, formula. So um, that will be coming next Friday, I believe. And I got an email that I have like a PR box coming. So I'll be sharing that with you once I receive it. And I'm thinking that video will come out probably next week. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's get into these scents. So Candy Cane Cashmere, as I was saying, this one is a really pretty colored wax. I love that. Okay, so the description says, Cuddly Candy Cane Cashmere. Sorry, I'm like really bad eyes. Enjoy the fresh, crisp scent of cooling peppermint and eucalyptus with hints of balsam fir, coconut, and a shimmer of vanilla. Your top notes are peppermint snowflake, fir balsam, eucalyptus, your mid notes are spruce, caramel, and jasmine. And then your base notes are vanilla, coconut, and cedar. So this one is a different type of peppermint scent. I really like it though. Um, it's definitely a unique type of peppermint. And it's not really a peppermint that I've really ever smelt. Um, I get a lot of sweetness from this one. Which makes me think of, like that's what the cashmere is like I get a lot of softness from this one it's like a really pretty sweet peppermint type of scent um I definitely get like the vanilla and the coconut and the jasmine the caramel like those sweeter notes those like really help to sweeten up that like cool peppermint um there's notes of cedar and fir balsam in there I like get a hint of like tree in the back, but it's definitely not like a super strong note that I'm getting, but I do get those in there. And then of course the peppermint snowflake and yeah, it's just a really nice scent. It's mainly peppermint. And then I would say that there's a lot of sweetness to it. And then just like a hint of like a tree scent with those notes of fir balsam, eucalyptus, spruce, and cedar. So yeah, I really like this one. I'm super excited to burn it because it is a unique type of scent and the label's super cozy as well. So I'm really excited to get into that one. Okay, so that is Candy Cane Cashmere. Now let's talk about 
this one. This one I was very, very excited for and I was a little disappointed. Personally, it's just not my type of scent that I like and I was super disappointed because I loved the label and I like love the whole vibe of this one. So it was kind of upsetting, but this one is the Christmas time in the city. So um, this one has like the label of New York, as you can see. It's a really pretty label. I've like really expected to get this in the large jar because I love just like the New York vibe, like the city, Manhattan. I love all of that. And so I was like, I'm going to love this scent. And I really thought that the, um, I thought that the description looked pretty good as well. So I was shocked that I didn't like it, but let's go through the description and the notes. So the description says trying to hold these up transform your fireplace mantle and experience holiday warmth with woodland scents lavender berry sprays and balsam through the season your top notes are cinnamon clove aromatic lavender and cardamom your mid notes are rubber blackberry dewberry geranium and nutmeg and then your base notes are cypress fir balsam labdanum labdanum i can never say that one and cedar wood okay Okay, so this is a very fresh type of scent. Um, I feel like I've smelt this before somewhere and I don't think it's a candle. It's something that has been like in my life, like something smells like this, but I can't put my finger on what it is. If you know what I'm talking about and you've come to that realization, let me know down below in the comments, but I feel like I've smelt this somewhere before. Um, the notes that I pick up it's kind of an odd scent. And again, I don't love it, to be honest. It's not for me, and I don't think I would want it in a large jar. I think I pick up a lot of, like, the rubber, the blackberry, and the dewberry. Like, I pick up a like good amount of, like, that blackberry, dewberry, rubber. I do pick up, like, a spiciness from this one because I have notes. It has notes of cinnamon, clove cardamom and nutmeg that's a lot of spice notes in there i do get the lavender as well it's kind of just like do you remember yesterday i reviewed the um arum and evergreen um that one i was saying like it really just smells like the notes like they just put like an equal amount of each note and that's really what it smells like and i kind of agree for this one like i get every note in here it's just kind of like a combination of all of it um i do get like a foresty outside scent to this one too with the cypress the fir balsam the uh geranium the cedar wood labdanum labadum how do you even say that labdanum I don't love it, to be honest. It's fresh. It's like a fresh type of scent. Almost smells to me like a laundry scent with a lot more of like outdoorsiness to it. It's kind of an odd scent though. I'll have to review this one and like really read into the notes, but that's kind of my first impression. I know that was like not helpful at all, but okay, next up, this one is Holiday Cake. So this is another one that I expected to love and personally not for me. Um, okay, so this one says, holiday cake, you'll want more, you, sorry, I can't speak. You'll want more than a morsel of zesty, chocolatey holiday cake. Fruit forward with just the right amount of spice for an, in, for an irresistible holiday indulgence. Your top notes are juicy fruits, orange zest. Your mid notes are nutty, caramel, nutmeg, and vanilla sugar. And then your base notes are creamy, dark chocolate. <laughs> Okay, so this is another very interesting type of scent. Kringle really likes to take like notes that you would never think to combine and they like to put them together to make a scent. Sorry, I have my water. So for me, this smells like a holiday cake covered in chocolate with fruitiness on it. It's like a fruity cake covered in chocolate. Because I do get a lot of that like cake to it like it smells like the vanilla sugar and the like caramel it's like a sweet cake and then you put like chocolate over it it's like drizzled and creamy chocolate but then you also add a fruity element to this one for me I think I get a lot of lemon and it's interesting because there's no lemon note in here but I get a lot of the lemon 
There's the orange zest as well, and it says juicy fruits. So I guess juicy fruits could cover like a lot of different fruits, but for me, I feel like I get a lot of lemon in this one. Maybe a little bit of like raspberry in here. I mean, I honestly don't hate it actually now that I'm smelling it. I mean, I don't, it's an interesting blend because I would not think to blend like fruit and chocolate together. Like I feel like fruit and cake would work really well or chocolate and cake would work really well, but like fruit and chocolate, I don't know if that would work very well together. I don't know though. I'll have to burn this and review it like I always do. Okay, next up, um, holiday sweets. As you can see, most of these are gourmand scents. Yeah, a lot of these are gourmand scents. Okay, so holiday sweets looks like this. Okay, so holiday sweets says, holiday sweets is going to be, is going, I can't speak y'all. Let me get it together. <laughs> holiday sweets is like going to grandma's for the holidays. Fresh baked sugar cookies and snowball cookies combine to make this a sweet, delicious fragrance. Your top notes are lemon, strawberry, and sugar cookie. Your mid notes are vanilla, coconut cream, baked cookie dough. And your base notes are cream, musk, and raspberry. Okay, so I like this one more than the holiday cake. And I think that they're similar in a way where they both have like that, like holiday cake vibe to it. Like they both have like that sweet cake in it and they both have like the fruitiness. This one is missing the chocolate element that holiday cake has. For me, I like this a lot more. Um, I get like a lot of cookie in this one, like the cookie dough. Like it really smells like a like brown sugar chocolate, like I don't get the chocolate chip, but brown sugar sugar cookie dough. Like it smells like sugar cookie dough. Uh, I also get that like raspberry to this one. I get a lot of raspberry in this one. Um, I get some lemon and I get some strawberry. I get in that like cake note, I get the coconut, I get the vanilla, and I get the creamy musk. It's nice though. I actually do like this one. I don't think that it's something that I would like hoard up on, but I can appreciate it for what it is. It's kind of like a fruity cookie type of scent. Um, definitely not like a typical holiday type of scent, but I think it's unique. So I'll give them that. Okay, next up we have, what's up? Uh, holiday and mistletoe. Sorry, holly and mistletoe. All right, so holly and mistletoe says, our holly and mistletoe will be your holiday tradition. A combination of fruits, floral, and earthy greens produces a truly enchanting experience. Your top notes are winter berries, red currant, and pink pepper. Your mid notes are blackberry vines, fir needles, and rose thorns. And then your base notes are earthy greens and rubber patch. As you can tell, they did a lot of fruity fragrances for this um, line collection. And then the last one that I'm going to share with you is also like very fruity. Okay, but holly and mistletoe. So... I actually like this one a lot and I would pick it up in the large jar, but I just have so many like balsam fir types of scents and just like tree holiday tree types of scents. The last thing I needed was another one, but this one's very unique and different. Um, it does smell like a berry tree scent. Like I get the tree, of course, you know, we have like that earthy tree, the fir needle balsam. I get the fruitiness from this one with the winter berry and the red currant and the rubber patch. It's very earthy, very greenery, fresh. This could honestly be like a nice spring scent as well for like a garden. Like it kind of smells like you're walking into like a garden because it's very greenery and earthy and kind of smells like a plant, if you know what I mean. Like that smells, that sounds very odd. The rose thorns notes I also do get. Like I get a hint of like a floralness to this one with the rose. I think it's a different type of scent though compared to like your normal Christmas tree type of scent, but I like it. I think this might be something I would more prefer to burn in like the springtime when like flowers start blooming or like when the greenery is out, but I do like that one. Okay, next up, this one I became very, very close to purchasing in the larger one because I actually love it. It smells delicious. It is milk and cookies. So 
milk and cookies. This one, they did a lot of like holiday treats type of scent. They did holiday cake, holiday sweets, and milk and cookies. They did a lot of cookie scents. And then they did like, they did in the Kringle line tea and cookies. Um, just lots of gourmands this year as well. Okay, so um, milk and cookies says... The excitement and anticipation of Santa's arrival is in the air with the scent of warm, freshly baked cookies, cookies in a tall glass of milk. Your top notes are buttercream, sugar cookie, and cinnamon. Your base notes are vanilla extract and coconut milk. Sorry, I forgot to say mid notes are sugar cookie and cinnamon. <laughs> oh yeah, this one is so delicious. Actually, I kind of wish that I did get this one in the larger jar. Because it's really delicious, but I do have a lot of I do have a lot of holiday gourmands. But this is a delicious one, y'all. I love the cute little label as well. It's like a cookie and then like a letter that says to Santa. But I love this one. It really does smell like a creamy, milky cookie type of scent. Um, you get that buttercream, you get the sugar cookie. Just like the lightest pinch of cinnamon. Just like a little bit of spice to this one. It's really nice though. I really like this. I think that this would make your house smell really good if you don't want to bake. But like you want that like gourmand like cookie scent filling your home. This would be a good one to pick up. So that one is definitely a good one. Okay, next up. This is one of my favorites from the line. And it is so beautiful. It is called... Nativity. I got this one in the larger jar because I liked it that much. Um, so as you can see, the label is like a ornament with like Jesus and Mary and Joseph and like the star of Bethlehem. And it's just a really, really pretty scent and label. I love how they did the Awana manger this year and they're doing this one. Like I think that it's really special that they're correlating, you know, these holiday scents to the true meaning of Christmas. So this one says, bask in the calm and comfort of shepherds and wise men. Soft cashmere, amber, and sparkling citrus create a vibrant, cozy fragrance. Your top notes are sparkling citrus and fresh linen. Your mid notes are cozy cashmere and amber wood. And then your base notes are warm amber, sweet toffee, and tonka bean. I love this one. This is a very musky type of scent. Um, it to me smells like a really pretty like perfume or cologne. I would say this is more of like a perfumey type of scent. It's got a lot of powderiness to it, but you guys know I love those like powdery perfumey types of scents. But um, this one is really, really pretty. It's got that cashmere in it that may, like softens it up a little. It's got the amber. It's got the tonka. Really, really pretty though. I think this is so gorgeous. I love this scent a lot. It's like a very powdery, musky, perfumey type of scent. But I do love those scents. I feel like this one would be pretty for like New Year's Eve or after the holidays. Just like in January when you're done with like tree types of scents and you want like a fresh clean scent in your home but like it's also musky this would be a really pretty scent for them so I think that's when I might use this one up so that one's gorgeous and then last but not least this one is called Vin Brulee this is what it looks like okay so this one I was kind of nervous of because I don't always love the super like citrusy types of scents but shockingly I kind of like this one actually so this one says popular in European Christmas markets Vin Brulee is an Italian style mold wine with a fruity aromatic blend resting on a bed of sugar crystals and sheer musks to create this magic seasonal scent your top notes are ice peach pink pal pink pomelo Juicy orange. Your mid notes are red berries, frozen pineapple, and cool peppermint. Your base notes are sugar crickle, sugar crystals, and sheer musks. I'm sorry. I like once we're 20 minutes into the video, I start to lose brain cells. Like, okay, I actually really like this one, and I think that this is not a holiday scent though. Like. This to me smells like a really nice like near New Year's Eve scent and 
that's when I would think that this one would be nice to light up because I get a lot of like fruitiness from this one and it's definitely a fresh type of scent and you guys know I don't love the fruity ones always I actually really like this one I think I like it because there's a lot of peach in here and I love peach I get a lot of that peach I get a lot of the orange but it's not like a super sour orange it's more of like a sweeter fresh orange um, I definitely get like the pink pomelo, the pineapple, and again, it's not like a sour pineapple, it's like a super like sweet pineapple, um, the berry, all of it, and then it's also very sweet with like the sugar crystal, the sheer musk, it's just a really pretty scent. Cool peppermint, um, I do get like a coolness from this one, and I think it's like a mintiness, but I don't know if I would consider it peppermint. But this is actually a really nice one. So if you like like the fruity types of scents, I would definitely check this one out. But yeah, that is all eight of the new holiday scents for the Country Candle line for 2022. Lots of stuff going on at Kringle. Um, I think we have another launch next weekend. This weekend we have the returning favorites. And then let me look at my calendar real quick because I'm here on my laptop. Yeah, so the 18th, I believe that we have a new, another launch. So I, it looks like Kringle has been doing like launches every Friday. So make sure to always check out my channel or the other ambassadors channels or the Kringle Candle website so you can get the you know, most recent updates and alerts, but let me know down below in the comments if you've picked up any of these and which ones are your favorites. I am excited to get into reviewing these. I'm I'm thinking about starting these this next week, so be on the lookout for those to get into the review line soon. But again, thanks so much for watching, and make sure to give me a like and subscribe if you want to help support my channel and check out my other videos, and I will see you guys back tomorrow for the um candle reviews also don't forget to use my code connor loves candles to get 15 percent off of your order but then i will see you guys tomorrow bye